We just taped a great episode of yes. Love of Quilting, your fabulous quilt, New Hampshire Nights. Yes. We had so many tips and things, yeah. but there's more. Yeah, and we showed how you can kind of um, not waste your flippy corners. So here's the flippy corner, you know, you sew that, you check it, and uh, then you can cut that off with scissors or rotary cutter, and then you can sew, and this is what you did on the show, is mm -hmm. made that little triangle, mm -hmm. but there's another way to do it. Do you there's want me to mark it for you sure, while you talk? Sure, You know, while you have your piece of patchwork, you know, in front of you at the machine, Intact still. Intact. Before you flip over, cut it, then sew it, a lot of people, and I just heard this not mm -hmm. long ago, will mark another line right now, no right. trimming yet, and go ahead and sew that stitch as well. In progress. And then trim. So And and let's just say I yeah. use this I use this uh, quarter inch marker and we normally use it for a different technique where we line up the center line on mm -hmm. the thread. But because it's an exact half inch wide, mm -hmm. I used it to mark your line because you want two quarter inch seams. Right. And so now you have a sewing line and it's just handy. Because when you trim these pieces apart, you're gonna trim right down the center of these two sewing lines and you need a quarter inch on either side. I just restated it yeah. for folks who yeah. are like, what's, what's going, going on? <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna sew that, okay. uh, sew that again. When I sew on, on a line, I like to put my sewing machine, um, the needle in the center position, just a, just a preference. And I'll sew a little bit to the outside. Right. Yeah, I suppose you could follow a line anywhere, but I like it in the center. Yeah. Because your feed dogs are happier that yeah. way. I'm starting to wonder if I need cheaters. I mean, I'm not quite oh. that long in the tooth, but sometimes. Yeah. So, okay, so I got kind of weird right there, but it's okay, it's okay, because this is we're gonna trim this down, we're gonna square up our uh, little Yeah, I'm gonna, and I'm, I got the square up ruler, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, but I'm gonna just use it. Sure. If this is not what it's for, but you know, we grab what's at hand, mm -hmm. so I cut those apart. So not only do we have our sashing piece, but we have this little guy. And you see quarter inch here, mm -hmm. quarter inch there. So then, open it out. press toward the dark, typically and you see it's all funky. It's, it's funky. not exact. And the problem is it's not a normal size, mm -hmm. so that's why I'm using the square up ruler. I'm gonna put it on here, and the way this works is there's a little piece of film here that mm -hmm. you can reposition, but you, or you put it on this diagonal line, and so I'm putting it so it abuts and bumps against mm -hmm. the seam. Mm -hmm. And so this looks to me like, we'll see it measures like an inch and three fourths, mm -hmm. not that helpful. So what I'm gonna do, you have to kind of do the little math in your head is mm -hmm. I'm gonna trim off these just to clean it up. Mm -hmm. And I've got that diagonal line on my square up ruler down the seam, mm -hmm. so it's even. Then I turn it around, and on this side, I'm gonna trim it to inch and a half. That's just, um, it's more useful measurement. It's yeah. all measurements, you know, we use all kinds of fractions and portions of inches in patchwork. But if you've got all these little extra pieces, maybe an inch and a half is just, isn't that cute? More usable, I think, on a lot of quilts that we use two and a half inch strips well, and all this stuff. This would be for a teeny tiny quilt for a doll baby, I, I think, probably. I wouldn't have done this a couple years ago. I thought it was silly, but I'm getting into this. People well, and on a bigger unit, when it's bigger than the one we just showed, it, there's a lot of waste. Definitely. We've shown them many times, so hopefully that tip will help you out. And all of the shows on the 2800 series are full of tips and techniques, as usual, so check it out and visit fonsandporter.com for all kinds of great information. Thank you.